Daryl Lewis, Whiteface. His start had not been conspicuous. Four clowns had deserted. Something had happened to another performer. Whiteface had been helping tear down some aerial rigging, and to save a delay, he had been asked to do a dance. All the kinkers or performers smiled as he consented. The audience would laugh at his attempt at dancing, and the aim was to somehow make the audience laugh. Then something happened. The huge Negro with the flat, coarse shoes lined with brass in front ambled onto the platform like a man with no bones in his legs. He resembled an immense dummy held up with wire and allowed to sag in the middle. He looked about him helplessly and then suddenly listened as though for a firing squad, then held out his long left arm as if wanting to say a last word with the gunners. It was a stroke of uncouth genius. The terrific effect of it stunned even the ringmaster. Immediately, he was prevailed upon to become a clown. He took the job with the same unconcern that he had taken that of stake driving. He would inflict no...